Jumbo. Welcome to Real Positive Africa, where your view of Africa will change for the better. This is where you will change your negative mentality about Africa and adopt a positive one. U.S. Anderson once said, quote, Nothing is impossible to the mind. All its guidance and power are available to you. When you have realized fully that thought causes all, you will know there will never be any limit that you yourself do not impose. End quote. Walk on any African village and you will be surprised to be met by kids playing on the dirt, smiling and laughing happily with a carefree attitude. And at this moment, it matters not whether you had supper last night or not. More than often, these kids will change your mood for the better. I know this, for I have been there, and my childhood was amazing. To start with, I'm an African, a real son of the soil, and I'm glad I belong here. When I was young, I used to wish I was born in America or Europe, and this was followed by fantasies of marrying and settling abroad, only coming to Africa occasionally to visit my people. By 12, I knew more countries abroad than I did on the African map. All this was before I knew Africa well, and before I fell in love with her. When I joined high school, being a lover of reading, I read a lot of history books, and gradually but surely I had a winter paradigm shift, opening my eyes wide open. I grew conscious of how Africa was being viewed poorly on the world stage, being emphasized by media houses and every online article or newspaper I would come across. Everything concerning Africa was negative. War, terror attacks, hunger, corruption, with half of the front page being an image of thin, hungry kids suffering from kosher call or honorable members somewhere exchanging blows in parliament. On the second page, that's where you get a full page printed with a nine-year-old kid with an AK-47 on his shoulder, raising a black flag, face covered with burning buildings in the background. When they managed to cover something somewhat positive, if it's not a foreign regime investing billions in Africa, it's an African nation being granted billions on loan. You get fed up with that and decide to watch a movie only to realize all the scenes from Africa were mostly from slums, terror attacks, children being used as soldiers, or scenes of humanitarian aid camps, or refugee camps with malnutritioned kids. Or as in a recent film, a war-ravaged country with Africans killing each other and infecting their countrymen with deadly diseases on purpose. The solution for that had come not from Africans, of course. These NGOs are in the business of spreading negativity about Africa. This keeps the funding flowing from donors. But have it in mind, they will never offer permanent solutions to the problems they claim to be solving. For instance, instead of making the poor dependent on them for provisions, they should use their funding to cultivate huge tracts of land, plant food with reliable irrigation schemes. That would create employment for the whole community, which would become dependent on itself after a while. They should teach the needy how to fish, not give them a fish per day. The world has narrated a very biased version of our story, and it's up to us as Africans to overwrite it to the real version, the positive version. For instance, when Somalia is mentioned, what comes to your mind? I'm sure it's not that she has the most beautiful women in the planet or that she has the longest beach on mainland Africa and perhaps the warmest and most beautiful beach in the world. Unless you are from Somalia, of course. Until recently, my mentality about her was about Al-Shabaab, insecurity, pirates in the Indian Ocean, bombings, etc. For that is what I saw on movies and on news. Not long ago, I saw some photos of Mogandishu online, and I was surprised. I could not believe my eyes. As a matter of fact, that is what motivated me to create this channel and show you the real side of Africa. With the current technology, there are so many sources of negativity. 
If media houses were to stop feeding the masses only on negativity, the world would be a beautiful place. The programming the world has about Africa would disappear gradually but surely as mine did. And look at Africa with a well-adjusted lens from a positive perspective. Fellow Africans, how about we don't let others define us? Whether our continent has been marked by all those negative deeds, it has also been marked by other positive ones that the world doesn't know. How will they know if we don't show them? We can rewrite the story about us out there, our true definition. Let's have the real version of our story to overwrite the biased one that the world narrates. Them who claim to know Africa well, let's remind them we know her best. Fellow Adrians, when you hear about high rates of illiteracy in Africa, remember this. Africa has given birth to real polymaths like Imhotep, who over 4,600 years ago was practicing medicine and writing on the subject, laying the foundation of modern medicine. That was 22 centuries before Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, was born. Also remember, Africa had a world-class university over five centuries ago in Timbuktu, West Africa. Africa is truly never lacking in intellect. Do not calculate our illiteracy rate based on whether or not we speak foreign dialects. Nindai remind you of Mansa Musa, who happened to be the wealthiest individual in the world during his time. Unique she is, being the richest in terms of minerals and beauty, and being the only continent that has the prime meridian and the equator passing through her. Take this uniqueness for granted we should not. I am not here to convince you that Africa is sweet. I am here to show you the proof that she is sweet indeed. I am here to change your mentality about her. I know very well she is not perfect, and I need not tell you about her imperfections, for there are those dedicated to capitalize her imperfections out there. I am here to show you her other side from another perspective, from which you have never viewed her from before. Her positivity is so vast and inexhaustible, outweighing her negative side a hundredfold. Especially we Africans need to dump our current mentality about our motherland and adopt a more positive one. With this, Africa would roll back powerful and respected, feared and loved, independent and all beautiful. Our people would stop dying in the Mediterranean migrating to Europe. The top startups in Africa, especially in the Silicon Savannah, would cease being by foreigners alone. The fact that foreign powers have been fighting for her for centuries and still are behind the scenes is proof that she is that good. For it's well said in Swahili, Chema Chajuza, meaning that which is good needs not marketing, for it markets itself. So guys, this is where you'll be feeding on positive doses about Mother Africa. So if you haven't smashed the subscribe button already, kindly do so. I will appreciate. Also, if you liked this video, smash the like button and turn on the notifications so that you know when a new dose has been uploaded. Stay positive guys and don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay safe and peace be with you.